and welcome to Supcap TV. I'm Keith Corneluk. And I'm Chris Kalziuski, and here's what's going on in the world of hockey this week. Team Canada lost a recent game to France at the World Hockey Championships. Now to be fair, some of Canada's top stars are still in the NHL playoffs. Also to be fair, France did have one NHL player. Who are we kidding? Canada lost to France? This year, the Toronto Maple Leafs went 2-12 and down the stretch to successfully avoid the playoffs. Obviously desperate to continue with streak of not winning the cup, this week the Leafs announced that they have extended coach Randy Carlyle for two more years. In other coaching news, former Flyers, Hurricanes and Islanders coach Peter Laviolette was hired by the Nashville Predators. After 15 years of coach trots, the Preds assured their players that Laviolette was not just a meaningless rebound affair, that they really love him and hope they will give him a chance to be their new daddy. Speaking of Barry Trotz, why doesn't he have a job yet? This guy is a 500 game winner and took the Preds to the second round of the playoffs twice with only a gum wrapper, a ball of twine, and Hal Gill. If he doesn't have a job by this time next season starts, it's got to be the neck. The Philadelphia Flyers made a couple of promotions naming Paul Holmgren president and Ron Hextall general manager. Now, we get the Hextall promotion because of his Flyers lineage and his experience with the Kings, but we kind of think they just promoted Holmgren to stop him from training Claude Giroux. Russian President Vladimir Putin tallied six goals and five assists in a friendly Russian hockey exhibition featuring a for few former NHL stars. The real winners in this match, everyone who let Putin score six goals and five assists because they're still alive. In other world hockey news, Russia trounced a depleted Team USA team 6-1 to one on Monday and talked specifically about how dedicated they are to their teammates. Well, Russia, when you've only got five total players in the NHL playoffs, you have plenty of NHLers available. And finally, Mike Babcock, Patrick Waugh, and some guy named John Cooper are finalists for the Coach of the Year. Go ahead, look up John Cooper. Turns out he coaches the Tampa Bay Lightning. Given how well he prepared the team to get swept in the first round, he's got to win. All right, hockey fans, well, if you like the show, don't forget to like and subscribe. It's right down below you on your YouTube channel. I'm Keith Corneluk. And I'm Chris Kalazuski. Thanks for watching SickTap TV. Plenty of NHL available. Or tells you something. Both of you. <laughs> fuck both of you. Yes, it's Randy, not Rick and Goodkin. <laughs> Rick. I'm sorry, Dan, we're gonna have to let you go, dude. You said Rick. <laughs> I was live! <laughs>